Are Destro Warlocks going to take over the ladder with their huge Chaos Bolt buffs? And does Mistweaver finally have a chance at making it out of the low tiers? These are the two questions we will try and answer in today's Solo Shuffle tier list prediction as we break down the most important changes in this recent set of hotfixes. First up, let's cover the biggest winners for Melee DPS after recent class tuning. We predict Frost DK will be making some big gains in the meta, and for now, we are moving them up to the B tier. Frost saw a pretty big list of adjustments, including even more potential for AoE damage with buffs to Cleaving Strike Obliterates. There is never really a good time to stack against the DK team, but now they will have even more AoE potential, so be sure to spread out if you don't want to get cleaved down. Next up is Subtlety Rogue, who didn't get any changes, but we are now moving them up to the A tier. Sub has been a bit low key so far this expansion, with Assassination taking the spotlight as the key meta spec. Even though Asa did get some nerfs to its 4 set and to healing reduction stacking, we don't think it will drop from the S tier quite yet, and these changes look like a slap on the wrist more than anything else. Anyway, Sub is starting to post pretty convincing results in both regions, but especially in Europe, where it is taking up 4 out of the top 5 spots for the entire ladder. Even though it is not nearly as represented throughout every rating bracket, we think that could start to change. Despite a relatively lackluster start to the season, we are seeing enough development within the spec to comfortably move Subtlety up a tier. The final adjustment we will be making for Melee is moving Survival Hunter up to the A tier as well. The entire Hunter class got a 5% damage buff across the board, which is something we will also be discussing for the other two specs, so stay tuned. Anyway, just like Sub Rogue, Survival is another spec that continues to post pretty convincing results, even at the top of the ladder. And with Assassination Rogues and Feral Druids still being quite common in the solo bracket, Mending Bandage continues to have unique value in the meta. And here's our prediction for the melee meta after recent hotfixes. Again, we still think Assassination will be the best overall melee, though that margin could start to slip away with more nerfs. And even though we didn't cover it extensively, we think Rhett Paladin was hit hard enough with nerfs in January to fall down to the B tier. Even though Fury Warrior actually got some buffs in the 05 patch, it still seems noticeably weaker than ARMS, which is why we're also revising our previous opinion and placing it on the B tier. But we want to know what you think. What are your predictions for the best melee DPS in the meta after Tuesday's hotfixes? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're doing that, we want to quickly remind you that we have hundreds of solo shuffle commentaries live now at skillcap.com. These videos include gameplay breakdowns from rank 1 and professional players who guide you step by step through your toughest lobbies. And when you combine this with our epic class courses that teach you how to do rank 1 level damage, it's easy to see why all of our users are able to stay ahead of the competition every season. Everything on our site comes backed by a guarantee that you will gain at least 400 rating while actively using our website. So what are you waiting for? Start your next PvP journey today at skillcap.com. Now though, let's move on to ranged DPS with our predictions for the biggest winners after Tuesday's hotfixes. We could be jumping the gun here, but for the meantime, we will be moving BM Hunter up to the S tier, where it will join Elemental Shaman, who has been there since our last update. BM is proving to be quite good in the solo bracket, and has started to post incredible results even at the high end of the ladder. Even though it saw a minor nerf to its tier set, this will likely be eclipsed by an overall buff to their entire damage toolkit. In general, we might have undervalued Hunter in the early expansion, but as the meta has evolved, BM is proving to be a massive execution test for enemy healers, where its constant stream of damage combined with healing reduction effects can make it impossible to overcome in deep dampening. On the topic of Hunters, we will also be moving Marksmanship up an entire tier. While diehard Hunter fans might be mourning the loss of Double Tap, fear not because the removal of this iconic ability might have been a blessing in disguise, especially in Solo Shuffle. The reason being is that Blizzard is now able to make gradual adjustments to the spec without turning it into a clunky one-shot lottery machine. This is exactly what happened with the latest set of hotfixes, which included some fairly significant damage buffs to both rapid fire and to aimed shot, something which might not have happened if Double Tap was still in the game. So if you are still sad about the loss of Double Tap, don't worry because there might be more opportunities for buffs down the line. As a final set of winners, we have both Frost and Fire mages moving up from their previous tiers since our last update. Both specs saw a 5% damage buff with the 05 patch, which again, might not seem like a big deal, but is considerable when you take into consideration all the other modifiers that go into ability damage, especially cooldowns. Anyway, the elephant in the room remains the fact that Arcane is still the best mage spec overall, but is gatekept by the fact that it's noticeably harder to play compared to Frost or Fire, which are considerably more popular throughout the entire ladder. At this point, you might be wondering about Destro Warlock. In our last update, we had Destro on the A tier, and we think it will stay there for the meantime. While Chaos Bolt did see an increase to its PvP modifier, this might actually be offset by a bug fix to Bane of Havoc, which will be an overall nerf to its damage. When you combine this with a hotfix to Fell Fissure, we don't expect Destro to make a miracle run up to the S tier. 
After all, the majority of Destro damage comes from other spells, with Chaos Bolt acting as a resource dump rather than being a massive execute. And since Destro is still prone to getting bullied by melee lobbies, we will be keeping it on the A tier for now. And with that, we have our predictions for the ranged meta after recent class tuning. Even though people might be excited about Destro, we are waiting for the meta to develop before making any decision to move it up to the S tier. With that said, we think BM Hunter might be a bit undervalued, but that could now change, especially considering it was doing quite well even before its 5% damage buff. Mage is a bit interesting. While we think Arcane is overall a better spec compared to Frost, its learning curve is enough to keep it out of the S tier for the average player, and for most people, Frost might feel more consistent. Finally, even though we didn't cover it in detail, we think we overvalued Balanced Druid in our last update. Even though the spec saw some considerable buffs with the patch, it feels too gimmicky to excel in the average lobby. Now though, let's wrap things up with some changes to the healer meta in Solo Shuffle. First up, we still think both Preservation Evoker and Disc Priest will remain the best overall healers for Solo Shuffle. Even though Evoker saw a flat 5% nerf to all healing, we think this could be offset to some pretty substantial buffs to both Living Flame and Verdant Embrace. The Living Flame buff is especially important, since now most Evokers will have access to their 4 set, which makes Living Flame instant and gives it an additional modifier. Anyway, outside of Disc Priest and Evoker, the only other healer that was doing exceptionally well was Resto Druid, though we think they are still on the A tier for now. With that said, we think that they will now be joined by Mistweaver Monk, who we expect to make pretty substantial gains in the meta. Monk is getting a few overall healing increases, which will definitely add value to the spec in the coming weeks. All this is met with a massive buff to the Healing Sphere's PvP talent, which is having its healing increased by over 300%. Even though Mistweaver has limited choices for honor talents these days, this could be an appealing option in specific matchups, especially since it gives the Monk a strong instant cast heal, which is something that it desperately needed in Arena, especially in the solo bracket. This means our new healer tier list will look something like this when it comes to solo shuffle. Both Disc Priests and Preservation Evokers will likely remain on top, but might be met by Mistweaver Monk, who joins Resto Druid on the A tier. What you will notice is that the best healers have a wide array of defensive cooldowns and offensive tools to assist with kills, while the A tier healers rely more on their healing output, which of course gets worse as the game goes on. Our low tier healers might have good offensive options, but are simply limited by weak healing output. Even though we didn't cover it earlier, we've also moved Holy Paladin down a tier since our last update, reflecting the fact that its healing seems quite weak after nerfs in patch 1005. We want to hear from you guys though, what are your predictions for the solo shuffle meta in the coming weeks? Let us know in the comments below. While you're doing that, be sure to subscribe as we will be updating our solo shuffle tier list regularly to reflect any changes. Also, be sure to check out skillcap.com, which is the only place that guarantees you will gain 400 rating this season. Not only do we have an epic collection of class courses designed to teach you rank 1 level damage, but we also have hundreds of solo shuffle commentaries where pro players guide you step by step through your toughest matchups. See why all of our users are able to stay ahead of the competition every season by visiting the links below. Anyway guys, that wraps up today's update. We want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.